let's take a quick look at access requests using the Savient solution. First of all, we start in the access request portal. This can be completely customized, either as tags, as color schemes, any language you want to use, and based upon the personas um, or user identities that users are connecting as, they will see different subsets of, of tabs here. For example, an end user may just see the ability to request access or to uh, see their history. Let's go ahead and begin with an access request. You can do that either as yourself or you can do it on behalf of others. So others may be your team or your direct reports. In this case, we're going to click the blue tab, tab in the middle here, request access for others. So I'm going to request access for one of my team. I'm going to search any number of users that I choose. These are all my direct reports. I can find this user and progress to the next step. Here, I get a configurable catalog of all the applications that are available to me. You'll notice that there are both technical names and friendly descriptions. This is really handy when business applications and business descriptions don't align so that users don't understand the application name, but they do understand the description. That means that they can search the description and find the application they need without needing to actually understand the IT landscape. In this case, we're going to use SAP as an example. I'm going to add that to my shopping cart. So notice we're talking very user friendly in terms of um, Amazon shopping baskets or Netflix, for example. It's all about making it easy for the end user to understand. So you'll notice that we've now popped up an extra gray bar talking about recommended applications. So what's happening here is Savient is looking at your existing access um, and the access of your peers. So they can see that from things like peer group analytics that we can perform upon the, um, the identity information that's in the identity and security warehouse from your populated applications, we can see that other people like this user have access to these applications. Based upon that intelligence, we can click any number of these and add them to our shopping basket as well. For the time being, we're going to stick with SAP and we're going to go to the checkout. What you'll see here is a number of pre-populated fields. This is all taken from that identity and security warehouse. And what it means is that once the approver, if an approval is required, receives this information, it will help them to make the decision whether the approval should be approved or in fact declined or whether something else should happen. What we can also do is to make the, the information more complete. We could add additional fields here. Those would give you drop down menus perhaps to select from. They may be free form text. Some may be mandatory, some may be optional. Based on the information you put in here, it may even re render the information below so that you see different information, different things that you can request, helping to guide the end user to select the correct request. We may also um, have things here, additional options like um, JRM, so job roles matrix, so that we can make it easier once again for users to find the, the, the access that they need to request. In this case, let's search an FP role. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you would need to do it normally. So if you want to search for an SAP role, you would have to understand some terminology like this, OTCLE underscore DISP, information that makes no sense to the end user. However, notice that once you add a business description, it makes it a lot easier for them to understand. So let's add that one to our, our cart, but let's also try searching by, um, by name. And we can see that that's much easier for a user to search for OTC delivery processor role, for example, rather than knowing the specific SAP role itself. I add that to my shopping cart as well, and I'm gonna hit next to progress to the next stage. Now, whilst the, the, the donut goes round, what's happening is Savient is reviewing a number of things. It's reviewing my peer group to see if other people like me have this access. It's reviewing the access that I've requested to see whether there may be any segregation of duties, challenges, etc. And we can see in front of us now that first of all, the two pieces of access we've requested, the logistics execution display, we're confident that will be approved. We know that, and the reason we base that is saying that 
of all of my peer group, 100% of users also have this OTC logistics role. However, if we look at the delivery processor role, we can see that other people like me don't have that access. So what I could do at this point is I could put my change request ID and I can submit, or potentially um, I could go back into the shopping cart and I could change what I've requested. So giving the end user the understanding of what they're requesting and whether it's a good thing or a bad thing makes it easier for them to do the right thing, which therefore makes it easier for the approver to approve the right thing and potentially to to change it, to request, to approve it, to deny it as appropriate. However, if we scroll down, we can see possibly the most important thing. Having these two pieces of access actually generates an SOD. And we can see once again that although you would never know that this piece, uh, the, the DP role and the DISP role, create an SOD, what we can see in business terminology again, so the, the user and the approver on what they're doing, we can see that what that actually means is that having those two roles together effectively allow you to both maintain a sales document and to generate billing for it, your traditional iconic toxic combination. Now, notice that everything we've done here is within a single application, SAP in this case. However, Savient is more than capable of delivering SOD across applications. So you may have multiple applications across which your SOD span so that is also functionality that we can offer. Now, I have the option here, once again, to put my change request ID in and submit if I choose. Generally, in this case, we would expect users to understand that putting them both together means that they shouldn't actually request this access. They may do that, it's optional. There may be business cases where having an SOD is appropriate, mitigating controls, etc. So once that user's requested the access, let's flip over and consider that we are a manager or an approver. Now that manager doesn't have to be the approver. An approver could be an application owner. They might be um, a user's manager. They might be a specific person. In certain cases where it's a low risk request, there may not even be an approval required. So the manager would get something <coughs> like this, and it depends upon what information has been input, and it depends upon what the request is. However, in general, this is what they would see. Now, the information here, as I say, depends upon what's been input. However, the reason I highlight it is because the manager or the approver has these four options. You may or may not allow the all option, but they have the ability to accept or reject. They also have two other options, and these are the ones I wanted to highlight for you. First of all, they can reassign the approval. So they may not be the right people to approve in their mind, and therefore they can reassign this access request approval to another user. Alternatively, they could modify the request. What they're doing by modifying that request is saying, effectively, you, you, you pretty much requested the right thing, but I'm going to go back into the shopping cart for you, and I'm going to slightly change that. So we're enabling the approver to change the request so that they are approving the correct piece of access. So once again, the user requests the correct access due to the analytics and information they're given, and subsequently the approver is able to approve that information because it is correct, and therefore the user can work as soon as possible. As soon as that's requested and approved, the action is completed in real time for connected applications, and the user is obviously notified and can go ahead and work with their additional access. Thank you.